హలో వ్యూయర్స్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ కోనా హిమబిందు రెడ్డి కన్సల్టెంట్ పల్మనాలజిస్ట్ ప్రతిమా హాస్పిటల్స్ కూకట్పల్లి సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద ట్రిగ్గర్స్ విచ్ కెన్ ఇంక్రీజ్ ద సింటమ్స్ ఇన్ ఆస్తమా పేషెంట్స్ సో ట్రిగ్గర్స్ ఆర్ ద ఏజెంట్స్ విచ్ కాజెస్ ఇన్ఫ్లమేషన్ స్వెల్లింగ్ ఇన్సైడ్ ద బ్రీతింగ్ ట్యూబ్స్ ఆర్ ఎయిర్వేస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో టైటనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎయిర్వేస్ విచ్ లీడ్స్ టు ద డిఫికల్టీ ఇన్ ద ప్యాసేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిర్ ఇన్ అండ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎయిర్వేస్ సో దట్ ద పేషెంట్ has to push hard to breathe in and breathe out from the lungs so these are the triggers so we face lots of triggers in our daily life so today we i i will increase the awareness regarding the triggers which increases the symptoms in the asthma patients and also the measure safety methods which through which we can avoid the exposure to the triggers in our daily life so the most common triggers are house dust so house dust contains both dust mites and also the combination of dirt and allergens from the animal dander insects and pets so the the dust mites are the tiny bugs which are very small to see and they live in the cushions mattresses and uh, pillows and uh, furniture and carpets so how can we get rid of the dust mites so because they stay in the pillows mattresses and carpets so we have to wash the bed linens and uh, bed covers and uh, sheets we every week in the hot water in around 130 degree fahrenheit temperature of water and also use vacuum with hepa filters so to clean the house and also better to avoid extra pillows and carpets in your bedroom and also dust mites always stay in the the carpets and the, whichever the contains the extra fur so the carpet the dust mites stay there so avoid the carpets in your living room also so and uh, by doing all these activities we can get rid of the dust mite exposure and also if required uh, take services professional services to get rid of dust mites and also dust and clean the home regularly but make sure that someone should do the vacuum regularly and dusting regularly and always stay away from the areas where dusting is going on and another trigger is molds the molds grow usually over the area where the moisture is high so always keep the moisture levels less than 50% in your home and if required use dehumidifier to reduce the moisture levels in your home and also repair the leaks water leaks in your ceiling walls and foundation and also around the sink and water pipes and also always observe for the growth of the molds under the sinks and in your bathtub and showers if you observe any growth of molds and clean those areas with fungicides or bleach and water solutions and always increase the ventilation levels to avoid the or to reduce the growth of the molds and another trigger is pet animal all the warm blooded animals they produce the dander and also urine saliva and droppings all these materials contain the potent allergens which can trigger the asthma symptoms so how to avoid the exposure to the allergens produced by the pet animals if you are suffering from asthma do not keep a furry pet in your home if you do have a pet then always keep that pet animal away from your bedroom and also keep off from the carpets and also make sure that someone should wash them weekly and also brush them outdoors always away from you and also keep the house clean and make sure that do dusting or vacuum cleaning every week and also avoid carpets and also the fur containing objects in your home and if you pet animal leave your home it will take few months before all the allergens clear from your home so better to avoid pet animals at your home when you are suffering from asthma so another trigger is the odor strong odors the strong odors usually generate from the paints sprays deodorants and also hay sprays and cleaning chemicals and also the garden chemicals so always avoid exposure to all these chemicals and odor producing agents 
avoid using all the deodorants perfumes and odor producing lotions on your body and in your surroundings and if you stay away from your home when the painting is going on at your home or spraying with chemicals uh, is going on and also you have to stay from away from the home until the smell clears from home completely and another trigger is smoke so the smoke generates most commonly from the cigarettes cigars and vapors and e cigarettes so exposure to any kind of smoke triggers the asthma symptoms so its best solution is to smoke to not to smoke at all and also never allow anyone to smoke at your home and in your car or in your surroundings another trigger is the cockroaches and rodents at your home so the cockroaches leave the droppings which contain potent allergens which trigger the asthma symptoms so to get rid of the cockroaches always keep your kitchen and the places where you store the food clean and clean them regularly and also always store the food in the closed containers and make sure that the trash should be thrown into the covered garbage bins and also the keep the sink and washing areas clean everywhere and and also use the professional services to get rid of cockroaches and use the traps and poison baits instead of chemicals because the chemicals may trigger your asthma symptoms another trigger is rodents mice and rats at your home so the mice and rats also have been linked to the triggering the asthma symptoms so how to get rid of this so always look for the entry point from which the rodents enter your into your home and use the steel wool to close the holes and cracks in your walls and foundation and basement and also the holes around the water pipes and use the traps instead of chemicals to get rid of the rodents from your home and always store the food in the closed containers and throw the garbage or trash in the closed garbage bins and another trigger is outdoor pollutants like pollens weed pollens trees surrounding trees grass when there are weed uh, pollen producing weeds in your surrounding areas better to avoid outdoor activities to avoid exposure to the pollens which trigger the asthma symptoms and also close your doors and windows and use the air conditioning at your home to avoid exposure to the outdoor triggers and also air pollutants the pollutants released from the industries and factories may also trigger the asthma symptoms so use the mask and uh, when you are going out and when you are going out in the traffic use the mask to avoid exposure to the air pollutants so by avoiding the exposure to these types of the outdoor uh, triggers you can avoid the worsening of your asthma and another trigger is infections the most common infection is the flu or cold or other lung infections these infections trigger or worsen your asthma symptoms so what can you do for these uh, kind of triggers get flu shot every year and also ask your healthcare provider if you do require pneumonia vaccine and also wash your hands frequently and if you develop any kind of flu symptoms reach your healthcare provider as early as possible and take treatment appropriate treatment and also ask the your healthcare provider regarding the use of any preventive type of inhalers to avoid the asthma exacerbation and also if you are already on inhalers or inhaler therapy don't stop any inhalers continue to use the inhaler therapy and also if you are suffering from any cold like uh, flu like symptoms so seek medical attention immediately so another trigger for the asthma exacerbation is the uh, other associated comorbidities like when you are having allergic rhinitis associated allergic rhinitis or sinusitis or vocal cord dysfunction or gerd then then further aggravate the asthma symptoms so better to, to seek the healthcare provider attention immediately treat them simultaneously and another trigger is the heartburn heartburn is a common term used for the reflux or gerd gastroesophageal reflux disease so in which the stomach acid or food contents are coming up into your throat and irritate your throat and trigger the asthma symptoms 
so to avoid the heartburn or gerd so you have to follow healthy eating habits and better to avoid the any drinking or taking food 3 hours before going to bed and also always keep your head straight or slightly elevated when you are lying down and also get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep every day and follow healthy eating habits and if required ask your healthcare provider to use any medicines to reduce the acid production in your stomach and uh, these are the most common triggers which can increase the your asthma symptoms and worsen your asthma so by gaining knowledge regarding about triggers and following above methods to avoid the exposure to the triggers you can keep your asthma under control in addition to follow the appropriate treatment as suggested by your treating doctor thank you